Welcome back, Round Gods, Tall Gods, and Rim Rim Gods to Rimworld. And of course, the Human Hive, where today we're actually going to focus on maybe building a little bit of a base, eh? Seeing as uh, right now, tad bit of a dump. Although that is a side effect, I guess, of living in a swamp. First thing to say very quickly is that uh, earlier today, I did go in for dental surgery. As a result, if I slur any of my words or sound any slightly different at all, it is because of that. Uh, I've got a big fucking gaping hole in my mouth and she stabbed the roof of my mouth with a big old needle filled with lidocaine. So, uh, kind of hurts. Every everything's very bruised and all bleeding profusely. So, uh, bear with me and we will get through this together. Unfortunately, the anesthetic's also worn off at this point. So it's just, it's just all pure pain. It's pure pain, which couldn't be any more appropriate for such a horrendous series. So based on your feedback from yesterday's episode, I've actually changed some of the mods in the mod pack and added some new ones. The, the biggest request I saw on yesterday's episode in the comments was the uh, the Immortals mod to be added into the mod pack. I, I don't know why I didn't think about it at the time when I was throwing this together, but it does make perfect sense that the God, Goddess of Rebirth and the round one should be Immortals. They are gods after all. Obviously, they've got those god traits, which are pretty decently balanced, but without, I mean, without that, they are just regular people after all. There's nothing to stop the Empire drop pointing through the ceiling and shooting her instantly dead with a gun at the end of the day. Now, to be fair, those of you who haven't seen the Immortals trait, that is still kind of true to some extent. The way the Immortals mod works, again, this is just for those of you who've never actually seen the mod before, you are an Immortal, you behead people, and if they are Immortals, you get some of their power and you become a higher level Immortal. There's something like six stages of Immortals. The weaker Immortals can come back to life from any injury except for an injury that destroys their head or brain. That is the only way to actually kill a mortal forever or to be beheaded. I don't believe that can actually happen to, to player characters though. I don't think the AI is going to run up to you and lop your head off. Um, with higher level immortals being able to regenerate from death a lot sooner than lower level immortals. So there is that incentive there. We've still got to be very, very, very careful though because it does mean that again, the Empire could drop pod through our ceiling anytime and shoot Rebirth once in the head and she's dead and gone forever. To be honest, I've, I've had a lot of extra mods. Uh, I, when I was adding the immortals mods, someone else said, you know, what about research panel? I thought, hey, that's a pretty good idea. I'll throw it in as long as it doesn't conflict with tech block. And then I said, hey, does anybody know any other primitive mods that I may have forgotten? So we've actually added a huge amount more than originally was in it. They're all things that we kind of have to research though, so it, it hasn't made any difference to this this early game. Um, there are some other things that are just very on brand though, like we can now build these these uh, wooden totems that kind of cool from the primitive workbenches mod. I actually never considered typing in the word primitive into the Steam Workshop because that really opened it up those primitive workbenches, tools, storage is another cool one as well. Um, so we've got these really cool kind of totems that I'll start to put around. It looks as like if they've got some sort of uh, psychic ability to them as well there. We've got the hot spring mod, uh, allows us to make from stone chunks a hot spring because let's be honest, we haven't got anything else to do with these geothermal generators right now. That's 30 seconds and we get a blight. Appreciate that one. Rebirth is of course down right now. Now, uh, catatonic because of the amount of children that she lost yesterday. A lot of people were saying maybe we should, uh, you know, maybe we should have her be a bit more heartless. But I do kind of like the idea of this goddess of rebirth actually being kind of attached to these, um, you know, to all these children. It, it, it's kind of important for balance in some ways. But I think it's a kind of a cool character thing too. She's not just this kind of unthinking kind of ant queen. She actually does care about them. At the end of the day, they are human, even though... <laughs> Even though, goddamn, I wish they weren't. Barrels of salty meat. Extract salty meat from barrel. Oh, that's cool. And they've got... <laughs> ah, human trebuchet projectiles. An unlucky dead human made into a trebuchet shot for full-on psychological warfare. I'm in. Again, we haven't got the research for that quite yet, but that is kind of cool. How do we make these... Oh, look at all this stuff, eh? Hay cloth. Okay. Throwing rocks. Fair enough. Nettle hemp. Nettle hemp in bulk. Engrave Lothar antler. Oh, nice. So this is a mod that we've got that allows us to, funnily enough, engrave things. Um, meditation side focus bonus. Oh, look at that. 12% to 44% a day. That's really, really cool. We've wet clay clumps from hay. Okay. We've got some, uh, to be honest, giving everybody a recurve bow wouldn't hurt. We need 25 flint for that. Um, pet scarves and howler for some animals whenever we get on that. Flaming arrows. That could be quite good. Maybe a little bit dangerous in the swamp, but probably not too terrible. Sharp and stick boomerangs, bone knives, and flint knives. Oh, cool. How do we make flint tools? Because I think that's the first thing to try and figure out here. First in the production tab, look, we've got this primitive stone cutting spot. A place to bang large rocks together to make smaller rocks. That sounds pretty good. That sounds, pr that sounds exactly what we need right now. Uh, how do we can, we... can we make flint from that? We can make any stone blocks. 
Catapult projectiles, trebuchet. Oh, look at this. Smash limestone rocks makes... Okay, limestone chunks. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm misreading that. Smash limestone rocks makes flint. Okay. What if we haven't got any limestone on the map, though? What the hell do we do then? We panic? Do we have any limestone on the map? We do, fortunately. That would have sucked. What happens if you're tribal and you're not playing on a map with limestone? Grimworld episode two, we bang rocks together. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh my god. A wanderer hive queen? What the hell? Hello? Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> um. Wow, okay. I never considered what the hell I would do if we had another another hive queen turn up oh, i don't think we've ever actually done like a naming scheme in rimworld as we've done in crusader kings right so any other hive queens we get that will turn up i don't know if we just got extremely lucky with that one or whether we can only get hive queens joining us the wanderers that might be a, a feature of the mod uh we'll we'll name their rank hive princess of course they can never be better than our than our first one and then i'll just give them random, random princess names it's a, it's 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 genius and it's inspired and definitely not a lazy cop out <laughs> Ah. Oh, she's actually pretty good, though. I mean, nine plants, double passion, 12 animals, double passion, 11 intellectual. Hey, that's what we need. And then we'll get we'll get another we'll get another research table down for her then. And she can help out with uh, with with rebirth and hopefully unlock some new people. Who the hell is Foxy? Oh, God, I just realized orange isn't. Or orange is area we can we can build on, right? But it's area that can't support heavy buildings like furniture and shit. Oh, God. I have decided I hate the swamp. It's a silly place. If the streamer ran away, fuck, fuck your swamp. I, I refuse. I did try and settle, and apparently we weren't quite over the bloody boundary. So we're going to move here instead. And we're going to piss off uh, Minx Town, whoever those are. I don't care. I'm not. I refuse. I need to build buildings. How anybody can play in a bloody tropical swamp in this game is beyond me. Oh, my God, it's perfect. Look at it. A rock. But that's not just any rock. It's, I mean, it is just, oh, salt. Hello. Oh, that's appropriate, isn't it? What have we got then? We've got wild pods. We've got all sorts of weird crops that I don't recognize at all here. What the hell is this? Ginkgo bil biloba? Hello. Um, we've got whatever the hell those are. Oh, we got full on fucking dinosaurs. Hey, that's a good sign. Peach uh, is dead. She just blew up. What the hell happened? Maybe you can't have more than one queen in a colony. What? No. She wasn't actually... What? Whereas most of the alien animals of the room are heavily genetically modified versions of Earth animals, the mime is an absolute violation of all ethical principles of ravenous animalistic being created by genetically modifying humans. Mimes are sonically gifted parasites using their mental powers to disguise themselves as normal humans. Infiltrating a human community and living amongst members for weeks, months, or even years. Their voracious appetites, however, cause them to constantly consume the easiest, most available food source. When the food runs out, they result directly to attacking their unwitting host. You shit! So that was our queen all along. Oh, I'm so... I'm very annoyed at that. I thought we had double population briefly. No, we just have a... We got a we got a Trojan a Trojan man. Oh, that's something very different, isn't it? Oh, you leave Sister List of the Mister Fister alone. Pang power, get back, get back. Save the queen, protect the queen. Body block the queen. You will you will protect her. Line up. Oh shit! This we may be in for a fresher start than I anticipated. Run, Your Majesty. Run. <laughs> run over to that area where we saw the fucking dinosaurs. I'm sure that's safe. I know it's only an Ankylosaurus. They got them big smashy tail though, you know? They got that Pixar mum dump truck. Uh, are you okay? Grom actually might be fine. We might not have a problem here. Uh, can you tend to him there? Yeah, so one of the mods that we've got allows you to put down like a like a tending zone. Like wherever you want. It, it will dynamically create them, which is kind of cool. <gasps> oh, well, I mean, that's not... Is that news? Really? There it is. Look, that thing there. Smart medicine. Hey, that's kind of cool. Um, how are you doing? You've lost a nose. You've had your left eye torn out. You've lost a pinky, a ring finger, and a thumb. Your hand has been scratched and your ear has been scratched. But other than that, you're absolutely fine. <laughs> oh, no! Sister Lister's gone. The one that was first attacked by the mime. I forgot about Sister Lister. Oh, you were not savable. Holy shit. 
You had your leg torn off. There was no way in hell we were saving. I'm so sorry, Sister Lister, the Mr. Fister. What are you doing? We're, 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 we're a hive. We need to build everything out of hexagons, you fool. Oh, this is, this is, this would be cool. This would be cool. A little bit weird, but I kind of like it. I just can't, I just can't win. Pain power's been savaged by a bloody hair. This, uh, uh, this pilgrimage to, to safer lands has turned out to be exactly the opposite. We should go back to the bloody swamp. Ah! Uh! <gasps> hive jelly? What, what are you talking about? Oh my god, look, hive jelly effectiveness massive. That, so, so that is kind of the opposite of what it means. They, they start having very little need for the hive jelly. And then the longer they live, the worse it gets. So his need for the hive jelly was so extreme, he just fucking died. I imagine that's true of all of these first generation. Yeah, look. I don't think we have enough hive jelly to keep five people going. Or not, not five uh, quite, quite old, quote unquote, hivelets. Damn. So 23 days before it gets to massive, eh? Jesus. Oh, I think I see the problem. Because Rebirth is broken down, and was broken down yesterday, remember, was catatonic for so long, we didn't have enough hive jelly to... Or we weren't producing hive jelly actively. See, egg produce is 100%, but because she's broken, that we can't do anything with that. As a result, these guys can't, can't get that drug they need to survive. Wow, so we had to really keep the queen in a life of luxury then, which is fine. You know, it's kind of a cool thing to do anyway. Eight left. Man, let's hope that she uh let's hope she comes back to us before then, eh? Otherwise that's gonna get that's gonna get a little tricky. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. There's another 15. I wonder how much they're taking per day now, though. Keep this tab open so we can try and monitor it a bit closer, keep an eye on things. Why are you always freaking out, you big green moron? You big green garlic eating idiot. Oh, just fucking raw garlic straight from the earth. Oh god. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Mercy, egg garlic is so good. Hive jelly effective in a small. She eats her own jelly? She eats, a, she eats her own jelly? It's because Pang Power isn't buried and she loves all of her children. So she was freaking out because of that. Right, you happy now? Ravenously hungry. Oh, what? You mean the four cloves of garlic didn't solve that? <laughs> I don't know how much of that you just caught. Uh, somebody suggested this incredible mod where they will... They'll shout stuff when they're in combat to try and demoralize their enemies. Or, in the case of Round right now, he will shout, eat shit and die, uh, at a fucking turkey, because he's a psychopath. <laughs> oh man, that is high tier. That with the screams, my god, there is something poetic about that. I really want to grow this anima grass as soon as possible so that we can really start tapping into our psychic power side of things. What do we need? Oh, it's 12 growing. What are you up to? 11.76. Okay, so we'll get round to grow... Well, to be fair, the rice is going to come in very, very soon. But I was going to say we'll get round to just grow some utter garbage that maybe we'll never need. Just for the purposes of, of training up is growing, basically, so that we can work on that anima grass as soon as possible. Um, let's just put down another... Whoa, no, that's cursed. That's not a hexagon at all. That's a, that's an illegal shape. I mean, why not? We're probably going to need it at some point, right? Oh, come on, really? Please. Annie, you're breaking my heart. Do it. Come on. Come on. I hate you, round. Round. <laughs> you are... You are killing me here. Oh, for fuck! Okay, look, the rice is gonna grow tomorrow, and then we can start working on the anima grass. This is all um, you can't really tell, but this is all high fertility soil as well, 140 percent. The madman's done it. Domesticated anima grass. I'm gonna make so many. Can round wear clothes on account of him being miraculously round, perfectly spherical man? I don't know if we're allowed to do that. Oh, you son of a bitch! We need two flint to make a campfire. Right now, see if you can work out the issue with this. I don't think there's any limestone on this map. There's no limestone on the map. How the hell do we make flint? Hmm. Ah. Oh, hang on. I know a way. Oh, but we need... Okay, we can still do it. It's just a bit of a roundabout way to do it. Uh, a quarry. That would do the job. Uh, if we go ahead and put it like... um. Oh, there's ancient danger there, isn't there? Maybe, maybe not there. It's probably a terrible place. Uh, we can kind of fit it in just there. Hey, that works. From successfully trained a what? Hello. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, my friend. Get trained. How do we ride you? Are you rideable? Oh, I'm a dinosaur. Are you rideable? Speed. I am speed. Oh, this one. This one is absolutely certainly not speed. Oh, a Lothar. 
Oh man, okay. Where is it? Oh, it's quite a distance though, isn't it? That w I, I, the only problem with some of these hunts is that we'll have to stock up on a lot of hive jelly. It'd be kind of cool though, wouldn't it? I think we'd have an easier time killing this thing as well than we would killing the... What was it? The Odin that we hunted yesterday. Oh, hey, there we go. Allows the creation of basic creatures such as hivelings. Okay. Uh, so we've got basic hive hiveling research. So now we've got to go for advanced hiveling research, I guess. Wait, what the hell's the difference? What are we building right now then? Hive lit. Okay. And now we've got the ability to make hivelings. Got it. Let's go for advanced hiveling. Oh, wait, what are jellylings? Mutated cow creatures that produce hive jelly? Whoa, okay, that sounds pretty good. And there's also jelly corn. Oh, that's cool. So that allows you to sustain that higher population without more than one queen. I like that. Um, I might also throw on... Oh, Jesus. Primitive production, advanced primitive intelligence, primitive tools, and then basic tool crafting. Man, I really want that, especially if we're going into the quarry, but that's quite advanced. Why don't we just start with primitive tools that seems like a fairly safe idea what else have we got around here three sister, sisters companion plants that could be quite good as well i don't think we need to worry about food to that extent yet maybe when we get a bigger hive when we get a lot of the um you know like the hive cows and the hive crops and things like that when we've got enough jelly to sustain the population then we'll focus on food after that but right now food is good and jelly really isn't who needs gold when you can have limestone chunks smash round smash what oh can't damn speaking of junk work do we get some flint uh f flint Fli what was what, what is that red wooden hammer my god that looks very ornate to be a wooden hammer what does it do construction speed 10 percent. hey that's actually quite good um let's go and get that equipped as a sidearm what oh 13 flint hey there we go okay shit uh let's just go to production then and then what was it we, we needed to make with flint a uh, campfire. That was it. Okay, I can actually cook meals now. My god. <laughs> Talk about advancement, eh? Whoa, slow down. Okay, what have we got? We've got pemmican. Simple meals. These are all quite nice. Burn apparel, weapons, and drugs. We can make a mixed trash meal. What? A trash mixed meal. If you eat this, you're uh, most likely you has stomach ache. <laughs> Oh man, that got me. I don't know why. A trash mix meal smelly. If you eat this, most likely you have stomachache. Oh fuck, that is on a that is on such a high level. My god, that is beyond my small ape brain can handle. Uh make hunger tea. Okay, calcium carbonate in bracket eggs. Very nice. Uh psychite tea, flu tea, immunity tea. You should have just called it immunity. That would have been incredible. Primitive tea, digest it. So these are all the different uh, primitive medicines we can make. Insanity. 30 white brutes and 20 smoke leaf leaves. Uh, brother, where do I get white brutes? I'll just pop on down to the shop. Sir, I need some white brutes for my insanity. What is that? Flint sickle. Hey, is that how with plant speed? Oh, it fucking does, eh? Oh, I'd rather... No, would I? Why not? Why shouldn't I have both? Oh, it's always a party when Rounders invited, my friends. Oh, it's Round Throne the party. Hey, there we go. Uh, let's go and cook some meals. The party is uh, lack of hunger. What do we want to make? Expert colonist? Um, I see, I don't know who eats what. Because... Oh, I assume they all eat meals, right? Ra I I'm okay, firstly, Round doesn't have a mouth. Secondly, Rebirth is getting high on her own supply, i.e. taking fistfuls of her own jelly and stuffing it back into her big gaping mouth. Billy Bonds, Night Rouge, and Grum look tiny and probably don't eat very much. I think we'll probably go like four meals a person. And and also bear in mind we can't... Oh shit, yeah, that's a fair point. We also can't refrigerate them. Let's just do three meals a person. It's got to be divisible by four. Uh, I guess we'll do four meals a person then, right? Four meals per person for four people? Am I losing my mind? Four meals per person for four people. That is 20. <laughs> Yes, excellent. I am famed for my math skills. Oh my god, what the hell is this meal? Lavender flowers, turmeric, star anise, ginkgo leaves, belladonna berries, and garlic bulbs. Mmm, my favorite. Oh, sweet Jesus. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hide. Round. Kill. Round. Destroy. If round gets killed by cassowary, I'm gonna be livid. 
Eat short bow arrows. That's not very threatening round. Of all the things you could have said, that was the least threatening. Oh my god, they're fast. They're so fast. Round. Round. I'll see you in hell. Yes, that's it. He's got one. He's got one. He's got one. Great kid. Don't get cocky. No, 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 no. No. Not like this. My beautiful round. He's a hero. He's a hero. Nothing can stop him. Get your... Get, hack him. Hack him. Hack him round. Oh my god. This is... This is... This is Ultra Instinct. Look at the reflex. That He moves so fast. The cassowaries can never hit him. That, my friends, is the face of a cold-blooded killer. <gasps> He ascends. Oh, this is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. Look at him go. Round. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, Hive Ling is five. It can be eaten raw, but it's much better cooked as well. Just in case you're wondering. Slight caveat there. Round. Not a sign to crafting. Not yet. You're not. You're... Big shit. Right, go. Make me a man. Whoa, there it is. Uh, these take a little bit longer to hatch. I just can't really tell. Oh, what? To be fair, we're the tech limited one. Fucking mechanoid cluster, though, eh? That's gonna be difficult. Oh, that's quite a tricky one, too. Six mini slugger turrets, a lancer, and a dagger snout. Well, I guess if there's a time to breed an army, now is it. We've got 103, sorry, eggs. Uh, or 103 jelly. Let's go and churn out, like... What about another nine eggs, eh? Oh, oh, there they are. Look, they're like full-grown people. Nikki, Stench, Lumpy, Larry, Hector, Lubov, May, Elvira, Quang, and Wanda. I'm not going to name these ones, because these ones are quite literally going into the meat grinder that is a mechanoid cluster. I do not expect these people to live more than a few minutes. And unlike the Odin hunt, there's not really any glory associated with this. We sent like 20, 20 tiny little ants into battle against this massive mechanoid. And one just... This is just a mechanoid cluster. We've seen this a hundred times before, right? For Rika, both 40 wood, 25 flint. Well, look, let's, let's get... Uh, let's just get 11 of those turned out. How did we end up with 11? What? Let's get 11 of them churned out, and let's see if we can recover them from after the battle's over. This is going to be messy. Okay, get to work round. We've got we've got people that need outfitting. Need material. What the hell are we missing? No wood? No f oh, barely any flint. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay, that's fine. We can just do that and that temporarily, but of course we can't... We can't keep them around for too long because... Oh, no, no, no. I'm not smithing, you fool. Stone cutting. Can't keep them around for too long because we just won't have enough jelly. Oh, that's very slow. What do we need for the... What do we need for the tool tables? 200 flint and 25 of blocks. Why don't we make some limestone blocks on top of that then? That's probably not a bad idea. Oh, look. More wags. Hey, 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 hey. Give me that. Train. Train. Tame. Grab. They'll do nicely with my... Dinosaur collection, which is getting bigger and bigger by the day. Four of our hivelings may or may not be, um... They may or may, may not be lunch, I'll be honest. Uh, it turns out it's quite difficult to juggle that many. I think what I need to do is set up a good policy for them. It, they're not starving to death. The problem is the hive jelly need. So, maybe before we make any more hivelings, we should get the cows finished. I don't know what the fuck Rebirth is doing other than researching. Gathering steel to hauling inventory. Why... Are you doing that? Pray tell. Research is... Uh, re rebirth? Cleaning dirt. I'm researching. There we go. Hey. Oh, what are you talking about? See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Th there's clearly enough jelly. Oh my god, I wonder if it's... No. This is where someone else had reserved it? Maybe a mod like Stock Up would be handy here. Something to, that ensures they've always got one jelly on them at all times. The anima fiber's grown. Oh my god, it's grown. Hey, 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 this is great. Uh, first thing I want to do then. Let's go furniture and stick down a big old number to bed. Let's put down an anima fiber queen bed. That can be any more appropriate. Look at that thing. Our people. Oh, we can make anima fiber fur beds for our people as well. Oh, this is cool. Okay, I'm a big fan of that. Well, let's make a double bed for... um. For round. Round can have a bedroom, I guess, up here. Doesn't doesn't really matter that much. Story of two parts. 
<laughs> Three anima fruit. Oh, I would very much like that, sir. Um, I still don't think we've quite got a force needed to... Uh, how many bows have we got? Fucking two. Really? In all this time, you've made two. Round. Oh my god, look at the steel we've got. I guess being able to grow a shitload of people and then sticking them in the... <laughs> in a quarry for ages would, uh, would do that. I also mined out all this steel over here. You might remember there was a big chunk here. There was also a big chunk here. So a lot of it's probably natural given the fact that it is 95% quarry usage. What do we get in terms of plastic? 93. We can do something with plastic. What was it? There's something we could craft with that. And I said, oh, that'd be kind of... Was it some sort of... Sort of crossbow? I'm not entirely sure I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a hundred silver? Brother, I just wanted a big jelly cow fresh out of Rebirth's mummy milkers. How is this so difficult? For God's sake. Have we got any, uh, maybe we've got some silver in one of these mountains. Now they're on a map with, because there'll be silver all there. We got to deal with mechanoids, aren't we? We've got four people with bows in all this time. For fuck's sake, round. Oh, it's a blood shrimp too. Get out of here. Oh god. They have they have woken up the mechanoids. Oh, but it looks as if we might not have any problems there. What's that thing even doing? Oh, toxic spewer. Oh shit, I should probably deal with that, eh? That's way worse than I realized. <laughs> Either they die saving the colony, or they die and save the colony. Say hello to the angels for me. What a what a strange man you are. Right, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Bring them over to us where we can. Let's kill that dagger snout at a distance. Look at them go. They're unstoppable. <laughs> By them, I mean the dagger snouts. Run. Fuck. Why can't we why can't we why can't we do damage to that? Why was the big guy easier than this? This is ridiculous. Punch it. Punch it. Kill the damn thing. Please kill the kill kill. 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 Punch. Nice. Okay. Okay. Go 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 go. Again, these are sacrificial. I don't mind if they die. Oh! Well, I mean, I want them to succeed still. Go. Charge it down. Show no fear in the face of absolute death. The bravery. The utter bravery. Kill him, boys. Larry's gone. Poor Larry. Get in there. Die. Oh, no. Oh, Hector's down. Everybody's down. Everybody's down. We've, we've, got, we've got two turrets left to go. Round, you're up. If anybody can take this down, it's round. Not a... Oh, Feralus Clutch, mother. Okay, get in there, get in there, get in there. Get in there, run straight straight down, straight down, straight down. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Oh, there's a turret right there. Oh, I didn't even realize. That's my bad. <laughs> I thought he was firing at this. Uh, right, right, okay, come down here. Come down here. That'll start firing. You get in there and melee that one. We can kill that one before this one fires back. Look at the dodging. It's like Neo. He's beginning to believe. Hector's down. Hector, you've saved the colony. You might not realize it, but you have. Affected by muscle parasites in one other condition. Toxic buildup. Oh, who'd have guessed? Get in there. Bring her down. Round the savior. Round colony savior. Boom. Fear him. We better just dig a mass grave. <laughs> <laughs> I think rather than digging single gravestones, I think we just need one big mass grave at this point. Uh, I genuinely looked away for one second. A single second. Speedy Keith! <laughs> Where the fuck did you people come from? Oh my god, is that where all the jelly's been going? I didn't accidentally set that to be a hundred, did I? Like a fool. How many people have we got here? Twenty fucking six? Is that hunt still on the map? No, it's not. I was gonna say, we'll just go for it. To be fair, we've got pirates with a weather controller, which is why everything's foggy all the time. I think I've got a job for them. What is going on? Where did you people even come from? I just watched the video back and uh, at no point in the story. Who the fuck is Takaru? Oh! Oh my god, I genuinely thought we had like a chameleon yak pet and then I realized no, there's somebody carrying it. History. Messages. Cargo pods. 
I bet I know what happened. I bet we had a cargo pod with 26 hiveling eggs in it because cargo pods can contain eggs. Mind blowing. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, not Billy Bonds. High jelly need. So I've decided, given that we can't even maintain eight people, having uh, 28 is probably a terrible idea. So I've sent them all, um, I'll be honest, basically to die uh, and also not have to worry about burying them. But I've also sent them to go and smash up these pirates. So the survivors, if they make it, I mean, look, they've got no food. Uh, they can get 107 forage per day, which isn't going to be enough. But they might just be able to stay alive. Travel through the steps. That's when things are going to get a bit hit and miss. Oh, hey, that's good. Advanced productive intelligence is done. You know what? They're actually going to make it. Holy shit, they actually made it. Okay. Do it. Charge them down. These pirates will never know what hit them. Oh, <laughs> there's the fucking two dozen naked people just dashing in. Fuck them up, boys. <laughs> Search and destroy. Or not. Okay, just get in there and punch. Khan, you're screwed, my friend. You are so screwed. Get him. Kill them all. Wow, this is this is already chaos. This is already just 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 kill him. Fucking look at him go. Oh, it's it's a thing of beauty. This is a thing of beauty. Die, die. Get him. No, no, none shall survive. We are an unstoppable swarm. Someone's still shooting at us. Mavis? Get fucked, Mavis. Smash the weather controller. Mission success, my friends. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. No, 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 no. We can't afford to fuck around like this. Yes. He's done it. Mission success, and they can all stand in the fire for all I care. I mean, sorry, but there's, there's not enough jelly to go around. You know how it is. Yep, that'll do it. And then there was one. Night Rouge, the survivor. Wow. Holy shit. What a, what a strange sort of events. I think we probably want to focus on growing food now, if you don't mind. Ready for the next batch of, uh, ready for the next batch of hivelings. How are we doing on the egg front? Also, what the hell is that? Oh, I thought that was some sort of, uh, sort of, some sort of gem. How are we doing on the, on the jelly though? 28. Okay. So let's get round mining the silver. We can grow some tasty jelly cows. The jelly cows can squirt their tasty jelly milk right into the awaiting mouths of our little people, and everybody's fine. Excellent. Okay, 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 here it is. <laughs> that right there is high tier reward. What are you even doing? You're just relaxing. You, you just decided to ride this stegosaurus over to the fireplace. Brilliant. Here we go. We're gonna craft ourselves jellylings. We're going to make three of them. Round to work. Eight. Is that it? Oh, that, yeah. No, it, it, it has worked. It's female jellyling. There we are. And we've got another one up there as well. Oh, but because they're animals, they have to grow before they make jelly. Oh, man. Yeah, sad wanderer is right. And then we've got another Lothar chase as well, which we could definitely do tomorrow, depending on where it is. Oh, that's not far. That's near our first cursed base. We could absolutely do that one. Oh, this has been a horrible experience. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. What a, what a strange series. Just catapulting colonists to their death like this is um, very cathartic, I will admit. Thank you to, speaking of which, Blackheart, Lorez, Quail, Kane, Archbishop, KQ, the Magic Flying Velociraptor, Moosh, Nick Danger 13 Scarlet Bard, Galaxy Wolf, Viazine, Justin Rules, Slow King 1710, Chaos Undying, Dranmir, and I am Zagatair as well for their support at... The executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you to these guys for making this episode possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Omegador, Lucius Martius, Mark Sue, Unique Weapon, Astrosman 12345, Craigon, Lady Cerulean, Struck Iron, Lanigan, Coldest Flame, and Lilac as well for their support in keeping the channel possible. Wow. I'll update the mod pack as well, by the way, for those of you who, for whatever strange reason, would like to play along. 